Hey folks, how you doing today? Thanks for hitting that uh, play button and thanks for joining me here at uh, Turn 4 Hobby Town here in West Boylston. We're just going to do a quick little introductory video here to get things uh, started to show you guys a little bit about what we have to offer here in the store. So uh, yes, this is me. This is what I look like without a mask on. A lot of people, a lot of you haven't met me yet without a mask uh, since all this, uh, the pandemic stuff going on. So Anyways, enough of my mutt. We're going to turn this camera around, and I'm going to uh, show you guys a little bit about what we have here on offer. So this is a entryway point as we walk into the front store. So we have uh, some of the, we'll start off with some of the kids' stuff that we have right here for you guys. And as we come over this way, speaking of masks, we have a pretty wide selection of TY masks. And then we have some Lego. we got a lot of Lego uh, variety of stuff. So I just really quick, just going to try to not make this too long, but we actually have quite a bit here in the store. Probably be a little bit longer video than you care to see. Um, and I'm going to try to do videos every day now as we uh, go through and start to re re uh, give rebirth to our YouTube channel here. We have some uh, vintage things that have come back into play. This one here is a favorite of Kim's for sure. We're going to get one of those open up uh, up upcoming video and show you what that's all about on the inside. And you'll get uh, some painting products down here. Who doesn't like to have a uh, painted rock by the grandkids to put at uh, grandma and grandpa's house? Perfect little thing to have. Right down here we got these uh, some of the new uh, take apart trucks. So it's a little toy truck that you're going to take apart. And these things right here brand new. The Hoppin' Shark. And then we got a hopping unicorn. So these things are little inflatable blow-up toys meant for the toddlers. You can sit on them and hop around the house. So that's some of the uh, crafty stuff that we have there. Over here on this side, here we have some of the engraving arts. And some other painting goodies, paint by numbers, that kind of stuff. And as we round the corner, there's more of the paint by numbers sets there on the bottom. These things here crazy popular these things have been kim has found a uh, supplier to give us uh, plenty of a supply for these things for the the crafty person and then we have some of uh well we'll call them what are they squish animals squishimals whatever they're whatever they're called i'm not 100 percent sure myself we just got a shipment in of some new lol stuff we got these here adult coloring books these ones these are uh, a local artist right here a local artist right out of Sutton. Check them out. Come on down and take a look at those. Some more uh, LOL things. And then we got uh, some more sticker books here for the kids. And who doesn't need Easter eggs coming up very soon? Gonna have got some all kinds of Easter egg basket goodies here. That's for darn sure. This whole display here ready to walk in the door. Melissa and Doug stuff. We have some uh, some remaining Melissa and Doug um, on the go water wow stuff very very popular stuff and then we have some more melissa and doug here the suspend game some more road trip games how about the outdoorsy guys I'm gonna be going to the beach pretty soon we got some toys and goodies for that how about some sports stuff backyard playing some t-ball practice racquetball lacrosse over here this is new this just came in not too long ago, an entire display of all different la Mad Libs. All kinds of stuff on here. Come on down and check this stuff out. Some wooden models. You want to do a birdhouse with the kids? How about rockets? We're going to shoot off some rockets. we got a bunch of rockets in stock as well. Some uh, starter kits down there on the floor. Gives you everything that you need right there in the box. These guys here, very, very popular over the Christmas season. The Creato, and that one there, of course, too. The Shark. The Shark was the most popular. Well... There it is. It's back in stock. Come on down and take a look. Puzzles. Who doesn't like to do puzzles? Puzzles have been crazy this past year. All kinds of puzzles to choose from. You got some paint by numbers down there on the bottom. And uh, tons and tons of puzzles. Up in here at the top side, we still have some uh, craft stuff overflow over here. And uh, just step back a little bit. Take a look at these puzzles. Holy smokes. That's what um, three, six, that's uh, nine, ten feet of puzzles there. Slot cars. We got some slot car stuff. The Carrera Go is the one that we uh, stock the, the most. We can get a lot of the AFX stuff. 
And we have some accessories for those as well. We have some track. We have some cars. We have some pit kits, they call it, the rebuild kits for the cars. Top shelf right here in this section is just the start of some Gumpla. We have quite the variety of Gundam models, Bandai kits, all kinds of Gunpla, stu Gunpla stuff. And then we have some more of the, uh, the Gundam stuff over here with the Pikachu and some of the other characters. These models right here have become very popular. The wooden model kits. We have quite a few of them. There's one in the display up there. These model kits are really cool as everything and everything moves as you build them. As you put it together, something in there moves. Like this one right here, for example. It's a real clock. It's kind of cool. So there's all kinds of stuff there with that. So as we uh, just walk backwards here with this aisle, we can show you here. This is Gundam. Actually, I won't walk backwards because you need to see a better view of this. Come on down and check out the Gundam stuff. Goes right down there to that right side of the screen. We got a lot of red tag stuff. We've been going through and clearing out some, some older clearance items. So all these red tag prices you see, like look at this one here, just as an example. $34.99 regular price for the Phantom of the Opera model. Red tag, $19.99. Can't beat that online. Come on down and check it out. We got all kinds of goodies. Over here we got some more of the smaller Bandai kits. And we got some of the new Aerofix model kits. This aisle we're going to be going down here is all mainly our plastic models. We have some overstock of paint supply here. This one here is the plastic model kits of um, uh, functional vehicles, the, the mini Tamiya four-wheel drive cars. Um, when time allows, we have races here for those. So that's another event that can be uh, posted here on, on our YouTube channel. Some, if you're into semi-trucks, you're into building the semi-truck models, look at the selection of semi-trucks. It's it's crazy. There is just so much here. Tons and tons and tons to see. All kinds of trailers. Then we get into some more of the traditional models. How about military stuff? Is military what you like? Well, we can start over here with some of the ships. Some of the airplanes. And I apologize, I might be going through this pretty quick. We do have not a huge store. 1,800 square feet or so. I want to try to get through as much of this as we can. So... There's a, a lot of the military kits, Tamiya tanks, mostly Tamiya, some of the Ravel stuff. Then we have some paints. This right here is our Mr. Hobby paint selection. So uh, brought in by popular demand and request from some of our regular customers that would absolutely love to have had this product here, and they certainly do. We have quite a bit left in stock. It gets restocked quite often. Each Thursday and Friday, we get restock orders for most of this product and inventory. Over here on this side, we have the regular, the, the standard plastic model kit selection. So this is being cars and trucks, 124th, 125th scale. And uh, as you can see, yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of stuff there. So now it's important to note that the date of this video is um, March 29th, uh, 2021. So this is inventory that's in stock right now. We're at the close of day today, this Monday. So as of tomorrow, yes, all of this stuff is... Readily available for you as soon as we open. Not to say what's going to be left after that. So as we come over here, we have some more of the toys. Some more of the grabbies. This thing's here. A little piece of vintage right there. Pretty cool. Little packages of slime there. Again, awesome, awesome, awesome Easter basket stuff. And then we have right here one of the newest crazes. The pop fidgeties. Yep, we have the pop fidgeties. We got those right there. We've got a, six different varieties of, of things there. Some modeling tools here at the counter. This case display case here is in some of our uh, general uh, radio-controlled batteries and chargers for the RC cars. We have Metal Earth. We have quite a bit of a Metal Earth display. We have that there. Over here on this side, apologize for the sun glare through the window, some general RC stuff, the RC toy stuff, some construction RC vehicles. One of the newer RC Hot Wheels cars. Um, over here on this side, we have the remainder of what's left for Pokemon stuff. Not a whole heck of a lot. We have some of those left. We have some Pokeballs left. There's some Nerf stuff there. Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. Okay, yep, we have a few of those. Awesome stocking stuffers. I'm um, stocking stuff. Easter basket stuffers. Great little items to have. A couple of magic kits, some magic sets. 
and masks. We have quite a few custom made masks here, actually made by Kim's mom. Crazy earrings, putty, some more. Over here, while we're still at the front of the store, we have a variety of uh, electrical connectors. And I'm not going to get into too much on this, but we have, yes, Hot Wheels cars, Matchbox cars, Disney cars, all kinds of die cast stuff. I kind of get some flack sometimes talking too much about cars. That's my thing. Not going to go there. Batteries, electronics, capacitors, gift bags, general electric motors. Oh, sorry, more die cast. And we got these right here. Good old traditional glider planes right here, just like this guy. Yep, we got those too. Up top here, we got some more Hot Wheels stuff. We got the ID identifier for the track. We got some more track sets, some of the RC trucks. Uh, the uh, RC Hot Wheels, I'm sorry. Over here, we have some more of the general RC stuff. We have our Grex airbrush system. I use it personally, great gun. Some more Gundam kits, the bigger Bandai ones, more expensive. Over there behind there, we have all the Traxxas RC replacement parts. Uh, the tie display for all the stuffed animals. We've got a little little Dalmatian here looking for a home. Let's try to get into the snacks. Oh yeah, we got snacks too. You get a little, little hungry while you're walking around the store. We've got uh, paint by numbers stuff right here. Then we're going to get into this section. Paints, models, tools. I'm actually going to cut this a little short, and I might come back with a number two, a part two. We have gift cards here at the register. Right over there, we have uh, board games, board games, RC trucks, RC airplanes. Way down there, we have some more paints and tools, Citadel paints, Turbo Dork paints, Games Workshop models, more Vallejo paints, Testers paints, Tamaya paints. Yeah, there's a lot stuffed in here. Over there in a glass display case, <clears throat> excuse me, we have some uh, customized parts for the uh, rock crawlers. The, we have boats, boats just came in. There's a bunch of boats lined up on top of that case. I'm going to cut this video short here. Hang on and come on back with us for a part two of our introductory video of Turn 4 Hobbytown here in West Boylston, Mass. Come on back. I'll show you part two.